Okay, today we're going to be synthesizing chloroform. Now we're going to start off by taking about uh, 500 milliliters of sodium hypochlorite, which is bleach. We're going to add about eh, 5 to 10 grams of baking soda. And the baking soda is really not that necessary, but uh, it'll dial down the reaction a little bit. And it might make it a little bit slower, but uh, also a little bit safer. Uh, let's see. We're also going to add about uh, 10 to 20 milliliters of 70% isopropyl alcohol. Okay. Once we have our isopropyl alcohol in there, we're just going to take this uh, mixture, give it a little bit of a swirl, and we're going to let it sit. I don't know if you can see these react. No, you can't. All right. We're just going to let this sit for about five or six hours, maybe as much as eight hours. What's happening here is that uh, we are creating an acetone, which is uh, then going to be converted into a chloroform. And we'll see this in the uh, as uh, liquid precipitate. And I'll show you that uh, you know, when this uh, has done reacting. Okay, it's a very small amount, but this uh, is our chloroform. This is our chloroform after about hmm, 15 to 20 hours, actually. A lot longer than what I had originally thought. But there it is. I'm going to let this continue to react to see if there's more. You see how it feeds at the bottom there? Almost like an oily substance. <laughs> 